right, guys. It's the most... No. It is the most wonderful time of the year, but it ain't Christmas just yet, so you don't get your boys singing with you. It's the NFL season, and we got football. I'm loving every single week of it. And once again, I've partnered up with the DraftKings Sportsbook to give all new customers a great offer. Bet $5 or more on any game this weekend, and we'll give you $200 in bonus bets instantly. Everybody's an expert at everything. Now you have an opportunity to show it at the DraftKings Sportsbook. And guys, we ain't stopping there. Every week in October, you can take advantage of one of our great offers. So go right now to the DraftKings Sportsbook. Bet $5 or more on any game this weekend, and we'll give you $200 in bonus bets instantly. All you got to do, use my promo code DCTV. Bet $5 or more and get $200 in bonus bets instantly at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Guys, it's easy. DCTV, bet five or more and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Hey, the DraftKings Sportsbook is where it's at. Because you know what? We got a crown. Crown's yours. Let's go. What's up, guys? I'm back. And we're going to talk about some things. Because there's some interesting developments going on right now. The other day I posted something. I spoke about the end of the year and how excited I am as a fan of mixed martial arts. So you guys should be excited too. But there's a little bit of a different thing to why my excitement level even jumps again. Because as we all know, Makachev Oliveira 2 takes place in Abu Dhabi. Now we know that on the docket, we have Leon Edwards and Kobe Covington. When you start to have these massive matchups, guys not only are focused on what they have to do now, but they also are focused on what may come down the line. So you start to see chirping between weight classes. First, Islam Mahachev is speaking to Brett Okamoto, and he says that after he fights Charles Oliveira for the second time, he would like to fight the winner of Leon Edwards versus Kobe Covington to try and become a double champion. For so long, we have talked about Islam Mahachev at 155 and how big he looks and his size and his potential to probably seek out a second championship. Granted, it'll be two title defenses in if he wins, right? He only beat Volk in a fight that some people thought Volkanovski won. If he beats Oliveira again, he wouldn't have beaten the guy that he took the belt from initially. But then he says he wants to maybe test himself against the winner of Covington versus Edwards. One, one thing right away. If I'm below Muhammad and the rest of these guys at 170, this is a nightmare to hear. I don't want to hear a guy that's the champion at the weight below talking about going up and competing for that championship when I've been on this unbelievably long win streak and the guy has the potential to go out there and have a performance like he had the last time, look really good in doing it, and then maybe peak ideas in the mind of the organization. Trust me, guys. When I went up to fight Miocic, I had no idea I was going to do that. But because of my performance against Vulcan, immediately like, hey, what you think about maybe going up and fighting? If I fought Vulcan in a very close fight, that wouldn't have been given to me as an option. But it was based on the performance that I put on that night that made them go, wait a minute, wait a minute. We may have something here. So if I'm those guys that won 70, the guys that are on long win streaks, this is a nightmare for me to hear that Islam is already kind of planting a seed saying I may want to fight for the belt if I can defend this championship or win. I can defend this championship. I'm going to talk to Islam in Abu Dhabi. And uh, obviously those are always fun. But I'll be interested to see his mindset as he goes into this rematch with Du Bronx. But he feels he's going to win. It feels like he wants a challenge for the welterweight championship. Massive for Islam. Horrible for the rest of the division. Kobe Covington is not one to wait and give a response. He said to Submission Radio... This guy is just like Habibi's only talking. He's not going to do it. There's no chance that Islam comes up to 170 and fights me for the championship after I win. One thing that's glaring about that is that Kobe is just talking as if 
Leon Edwards is in the rear view mirror. He's going to just beat him. It's an afterthought. Obviously, a fighter has to have confidence. But I think if you watched Leon Edwards fight against Kamar Usman last time, you'd be a fool to look past him. I don't think Kobe's looking past him. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that he's overlooking the champ. I'm saying that he's saying that he doesn't believe that Makachev would do it. I disagree. I think this is about as real of a chance for him to go up as there has been. Because Kamaru Usman's not the champ. Kamaru Usman's a big welterweight. Kamaru Usman is under the same management umbrella. They have a lot of ties. So I feel like that is why it was more unrealistic to think that Mahachev would go to 170. But now there's no tie to Kobe Covington. Hell, there's actual animosity between Kobe Covington and the Dagestani camp. Kobe Covington and the management team of Islam Mahachev, if he is to win. Leon Edwards, Mahachev probably looks at him and goes, that's a guy I feel like I match up well against. I would fight him. It's more realistic today to think that it's going to happen opposed to before. So would I be surprised if it did come together? No. And I think that should be exciting to you. Because once again, we look at an opportunity for someone to try to become a double champ. But then I wonder about this. Why not Charles Oliveira too? Why would Charles not have the same opportunity? Because when you think about Dubronx, if he wins, he's got more defenses than Islam. He's beaten more guys at 155. So if he was to say, why don't I get a chance to fight at 170? Why would that not be an option? And hell, it might be. I don't know. I'm just spitballing ideas for you. But I, what I'm telling you is that with that statement, opening that door, opening Pandora's box, now so many things are on the table, especially when Kobe Covington responds. Leon Edwards never talks. He just doesn't. And I don't know if it's because he doesn't care. Like, I, I, have, no, I have no time for the nonsense. Or maybe it's because Leon Edwards is so focused on the task at hand that he can't respond or he won't respond and he's unwilling to respond but the moment you open that door the moment you respond the moment you say something as a guy fighting in the weight class above he make it reality and by Kobe coming back at him even if he's dismissing him he makes it a reality if he is to take the belt from Leon Rocky Edwards which by the way it's going to be very very difficult it's gonna be very difficult hell Leon could say after he wins, he has no interest in fighting a smaller guy, whether it's Mahachev, Oliveira, or anyone else. He could say, I want to give Bilal Muhammad the opportunity that I waited so long to get myself. Because if you think, Leon is the champ, but he was Bilal Muhammad not very long ago. He was on an 11-fight unbeaten streak, and he couldn't for the life of him get a chance to fight for the championship. So maybe, maybe he just wins that fight and goes, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do to someone the same thing that I had to go through. That could happen. Man, that's so fun, right? It's so fun when so many different things become a part of what can be. Does Mahachev beat either of those guys? I don't know. I feel a lot of his, his success is rooted in the ability to control people. Will that translate? Up a weight class. We know Colby Covington is an All-American. We know Leon Edwards has super high-level wrestler now. I'm sorry, we know Leon... Yeah, Leon Edwards has super high-level wrestler now. We know what Bilal Muhammad can do at 170. Does that style translate? Charles Oliveira would seem like he's just happy to be the champ. He'll fight everybody at 155. So I'm kind of throwing him into the conversation of going up a weight class when that might not be what he wants to do. But boy, is it exciting to me to think about it. For the record, I think Makachev would. And I think Makachev will. I think Makachev is more likely to do it if Colby Covington wins also. I don't think Charles Oliveira would do it. I think Charles will be okay being the lightweight champion of the world. But what I do also believe is that Colby Covington for all of his bold talk, is much more aware of the challenge that lies ahead of him 
than he is putting on in Leon Edwards. Because I know that the guy I saw in London was not the guy I saw in Salt Lake City. So I anticipate Rocky will be just this much better whenever they step into the octagon this time. It's, it's an interesting fight. And as I said a couple weeks ago, it's the most interesting one to me is Edwards versus Covington. But man, the options are limitless right now. We have so many things that could play out over the course of the next three months. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Hope you guys are too. Guys, as always, I love each and every one of you. I appreciate the support. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends to go to DC's YouTube channel for more content like this. Until next time, peace.